everyone today I'm going to share all of my empty products this is my second installment of my empty product I have done a product empty video few months ago actually and I will link that down below so you can check that one out so if you've never watched a product empty video before it's where I show you all the products that I've completely used up and since I've used up all of the products I will be giving a full fledged review of all of the things that I'll be showing here and I will also be sharing if the product is worth rebuying or not so there are a lot of products that I've used up so without any further ado let's get started with the video let's start with face washes first because I have a lot of them and if you've already seen my acne story video I think all of them have been featured in that video you must have already seen this in my January favorites and I have completely used up the Miranese Bevel Sonic day and night deep cleansers and I think I really enjoyed using this and um, it really helped in cleansing my skin and I think it works really well with the Bevel Sonic. Uh, the only thing that I noticed with this is that if you take a small quantity, it didn't really uh, cleanse the skin properly. But once I had, um, once I had taken more than a pea-sized amount, uh, that's when the product actually starts foaming and lathering uh, on the Bevel Sonic, and um, it, that is when I could actually see and feel my skin uh, feeling completely clean and otherwise even if I don't have these products I can still use my Pebble Sonic so that's why I am not really sad that these got over but I really liked them while they lasted and uh, I got these from Luxola.com and I will leave the link to this cleanser and the Pebble Sonic that came along with it in the info box down below and I have also done a full video on how I like to use them so I will link it somewhere here on the screen so you guys can click on that and go watch that video I have also used up the Clinique liquid facial soap uh, the oily skin formula one and this had a really nice um, mentholy scent to it and what I thought about this was that it, um, it really helped in cleaning the skin and that's about it this was actually useful if you don't wear any makeup or if you have removed your makeup completely and if you just want to clean your skin that is when I think this um face wash is really good for and uh, that's why i really liked using this especially in the morning and since it was very mentholy it, it would really wake me up like the smell of it would really wake me up um there were certain times when i was really lazy i didn't remove my makeup and then i just thought you know let me just wash with this face wash twice and then i think i'll be done with it but even after that it didn't really remove any makeup so it does not uh, do well with those um, oily things like lipstick but otherwise this is really good good in cleaning your actual skin so if you use a really nice makeup remover and then go ahead and use this I think this will work really well but um, I don't think so this is exceptionally good in terms of removing acne or anything because that is why I had actually got this um, but I think if you use any good cleanser that actually do the job of cleaning your skin properly you don't need like a special cleanser like the Clinique one then I also use the tea tree foaming facial wash and what I really liked about this is that the inner lazy me was so happy uh, to use this because once you press this uh, the product comes out uh, directly um, as foam so you don't have to lather it up so what you do is just take a few pumps like I used to take two pumps of this spread it in between my palms and massage it all over my face and it used to clean my face really well and I really liked using this but the only thing is that I think it got over really soon or maybe I was taking too much product out this is priced at 895 which I think is a bit expensive but I really liked this um, foaming cleanser but the normal tea tree face wash is priced I think a little bit lower than this and I think the price for this is only hiked up because of the pump in it and I didn't feel like spending um, just a few more uh, just a few more hundreds just for this pump action uh, so I just went ahead and got the normal face wash uh, because I really like the tea tree range but I didn't want to pay the extra bucks just for the product to come out for me because other than that I think there is nothing special 
in the foaming cleanser. For face creams and moisturizers, I have my La Roche Posay. I've used quite a few cubes of this and I think I will stop talking about this because I literally talk about this in all of my videos. And next, I have a travel sized uh, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. This is one of my favorite sunscreens and I've been using it for a long, long time. I have really oily skin and this one does not accentuate that. There are certain sunscreens which really make your face look oily and white they have that whitish cast any cream with SPF will give you that whitish cast even though this one has a really high SPF does not have that too whitish cast and this one did not really make my skin that oily so I really like using this because it is very affordable and also it works really well and I remember uh, Lisa Elrich uh, she's a youtuber and a celebrity makeup artist and she, I remember like she had a video of her top 10 or top 5 sunscreens and this was featured in her video and that's how I came to know about this stuff and I have been using this ever since that video. I should keep this in my bag but I am completely done with this and I think I'm definitely repurchasing a travel size because I love using this. I have two of my favorite makeup removers. The first one is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansers and I think this is another one of those products which I've spoken so much about so I should stop talking about it. I've also done a video where I show how I use this so you guys can go check that one out. I will link it on my face so you can click on my face, go watch that video. Um, but I am completely done with this and I've already repurchased another uh, bottle of this because it is so worth the money that you pay. Uh, you can obviously use any other oil like olive or coconut or you could even use baby oil. Uh, I know a lot of people use baby oil but I really enjoyed using this because it did not really break me out and I love the fact that uh, the oil is really silky so it's not that heavy. It's not that you don't need uh, that much. You don't need to make that much effort to rub this against your skin. Uh, like um, olive oil tends to be quite heavy especially on my face. I know uh, olive oil does not clog your pores and it's really nice for your skin but even if you wash your face with water and face wash sometimes you can still feel the residue of olive oil on your skin but you don't feel the residue of this on your skin at all so that's why I really like using this uh, to remove my makeup and I use this all over my face on my eyes and it does a really good job of removing uh, mascara and kajal and everything but I like to remove any last traces of those pesky waterproof mascara with my bioderma and this is the first bottle of bioderma that I got and this is a really cute tiny travel size packet and um, this was priced at rupee 645 I guess 599 this got over quite a long time ago and I got myself a big size one like this much I think that is much more value for money because you buy that for around 700 or something and that is 100 ml and I think this is 60 ml so you get much more than for the price that you pay for the small one so that's why I went ahead and got the big one but I really love using Bioderma I think it's so gentle and effective and I've also shown how I use Bioderma in that video so you guys can go check that out I have also featured this in my acne uh, story video and this is the tree tree oil from body shop and I think this is my second bottle of it it gets over really really soon and I think it works it really uh, dehydrates your pimples and it dries them down and um, it goes away in like two days but I don't think it is as strong as some other tea tree oils that I've you know seen um, and I've heard that the Fab India one is really nice so I'm not going to repurchase this one I'm going to go and buy the Fab India one which is I think somewhere around 250 to 300 rupees and this one is for almost 700 I think it's yeah it's 695 so um, I think I'm going to go save some money and try the Fab India one. I think I'll do a blog post on how I like that one. Now I have a few stuff from my shower. I have this um, body shop Satsuma shower gel and I really really love the smell of Satsuma. I think Satsuma is like clementine which is just like orange. It smells like orange to me. I have no idea what a Satsuma is but I feel that this is orange and I really like the smell of it. It's very very zesty and I love using this especially in the summers. I think I got this last summer and that has lasted me so long maybe because I rotate my body showers a lot on the days that I'm feeling really down or low I like to use this the smell of this really wakes me up and uh, yeah I've really enjoyed using this I wouldn't say this is the most hydrating of 
the shower gels that I've used but I think it does a really decent job of cleaning your body and which is what you need I think uh, when you are taking a shower I think I might repurchase this maybe um, if I am craving the smell of Satsuma but in the near future I don't think so I'm going to repurchase this oh this is one of my favorite products and I'm so sad that this is over this is feminine and this is a refreshing intimate wash and this one contains natural lactic acid and orange blossom extract this is from oriflame and this is one of their cult products and I think I have it in my favorite scent of course orange blossom and I really really love using this I've, I've used this every single day and this has lasted me I think 13 months I think uh, 14 to 13 months because it's more than one year since I bought this and this is a 300 ml uh, bottle and I don't remember how much this was priced at but I will leave it in the info box down below but this is something that I have used every single day and I love using this to wash my hoo-ha I hope you know what intimate washes are for. Um, if you don't know, um, you use this to wash your. <laughs> no, I don't want to say. I don't want to say the V word. Okay, you use this to wash your intimate areas, and I think um, it does a really good job of balancing the pH down there. That's what this says, and it has lactic acid. Female intimate areas are very acidic, and when we use um, soaps like normal soaps down there. It really strips off the acid and our intimate area is acidic so that um, microbes and bacteria cannot grow inside it. I know that sounds gross um, but um, normal soaps strip off that balance, that acidic balance um, but I think uh, soaps like this are really gentle and they're really effective um, in washing away the dirt and sweat and other uh, things and it's really gentle and it does not uh, remove all the good acid that's down there and I love using this especially on my periods um, every time I change I know that's TMI but that's what I do and I'm really sad that this is over I am definitely repurchasing this and I would recommend this to all the girls out there I have also completely used up my Moroccan um, repair moisture repair shampoo and conditioner I've talked about this a lot in my week in a hair video so I won't be talking much about these I will also link that video on my face so you guys can click on that and watch that later but I just wanted to share them here because these are empty I remember showing this in one of my favorite videos I don't remember which month it was I think it was August I don't know when but this is completely over and I used to love the smell of this this is sweet pea and this is their intense body butter from Bath & Body Works and it still smells incredible. I'm going to throw away this container just because if I crave the smell of sweet pea I can come back and smell this. It smells really nice and I think it was really hydrating and it was a little difficult to um, massage this on your body because it was really thick but if you stay somewhere which is really cold um i think uh, this uh, moisturizer is amazing especially for my legs because uh, when i wax my legs or shave them uh, they get really dry so i used to use this on my legs especially and not only did it smell nice it also made my legs feel really nice and moisturized so i think i will go back and try some of some more flavors from the Bath and Body Works range. I've also used up my Body Shop Cranberry um, body butter. Frankly speaking, I kind of got bored of the smell and it was like good riddance when this one got over. And I don't usually throw away these tubs because I use them to store my uh, my bobby pins and my rubber bands and stuff like that and like safety pins and all. So I think these are really good storage containers. Um, but um, I think cranberry was good while it lasted. I'm not going to check out um, this, this range even if it comes out. I know this was a limited edition. I think this came 
out last Christmas. Sorry, 2013 Christmas, not 2014. So yeah, so I've used up this as well. I have stored this away and it looks disgusting now and I need to throw this right after I'm done filming this video. Um, anyways, this is from Forest Essential. It used, the packaging used to look amazing when it was brand new. Um, and this is their Rupam Body Cleansing Paste and this had pistachio orange peel and fresh jaggery and this was a really luxurious body scrub that I absolutely loved using whenever I used to open this my bathroom used to smell like a spa and I felt like a princess every time I used to rub my body with this because it it smelled so ethnic um, it smelled sweet um, but still a little savory. I'm not really good at explaining fragrances um, but the product was really nice. It was really gritty but it wasn't too harsh on your skin. I think uh, the scrub was actually jaggery. Jaggery was actually immersed on essential oil and when I used to, when I used to keep the tub on for a longer period of time I could actually see the essential oil separate and every time I used this it used to leave a really nice film of oil on my body and I used to love using this especially after I used to wax or shave my legs. One of the last things that I have is this Nivea Pearl and Beauty uh, deodorant um, and this says it'll give you beautiful underarms but I don't know I don't have beautiful underarms. I can't believe I'm showing my underarms. If it's good I will keep it in. If it's bad I won't keep it in. <laughs> But anyway, I like using roll-on deodorants. I don't actually spray on anything underneath my arms and I don't use deodorants with alcohol in it and I don't uh, directly spray perfume on my underarms. Um, I really enjoy using this one and right now I'm using the Dove one. So I love using roll-ons and this is something that I've completely used up and this is one of those uh, roller bowl ones which you know, uh, transfer the product on, on your underarms and I think it made my underarms smell nice, yeah. It smells really nice. So the final and the last thing that I have is a bottle of acetone. I have used so many bottles of this like I have lost count and this is something that you can get in any local department store or you can get it at any pharmacy or drugstore and it's just plain old acetone. I know it's so bad to use acetone directly on your nails. It makes your nails really brittle and I already have brittle nails. And it also dehydrates the cuticles and I already have really dry cuticles but since this is so cheap I can't stop but use this to remove my nail polishes especially glitter ones and I love wearing glitter nail polish and especially uh, dark nail polishes like this red one it's really easy to remove them using acetone and since it's just for rupees 35 I just love using this and I know it's really bad for you to use acetone but I can't help myself and I'm being completely honest here so that's why I showed this because I've used n number of bottles of acetone. So that's all for today's product and today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of video and if you want to see more of these don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is this seaweed deep cleansing facial wash by The Body Shop that are present in the colors that we use to play nowadays. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the video.